Barry Fenton, President and CEO of Lantera Developments, is with me on the desk. And you're sort of uniquely positioned to talk about this because you build in all economic cycles. You're dependent on it, but you have to think long term. You've got these relationships with the banks. And one thing you kind of came back to at the, uh, when we when we started talking is just how you're, you're grateful that you. it seems like you can still get business done here in Canada, even though there's been a bit of chaos in the last five days. Yeah, there's. I mean, again, chaos is usually a good sign. Uh last five days. Yeah, there's, I mean, again, chaos is usually a good sign uh, because you need chaos. But uh, again, we are long-term thinkers and so are, so was the banking system. And when you look at what happened in 2008, Amber, it was unbelievable how Canada withstood the storm better than anybody. So, you know, I, I don't look at daily gyrations because it ain't going to help me. I look at the, the global outlook of where I think real estate is going to be in the next five years. And by the way, we have a lot of skin in the game. So it's not like and we want our, our investors and purchasers to do well. But we also risk millions of dollars in, in completing projects. So we have to be forward thinking and th really be positive and, and understand the marketplace ourselves. And a lot of that is in Canada. It's in, in the greater Toronto area. Have you ever thought about expanding beyond? You know, why not go to the U.S.? So we do have uh, some projects that we are presently uh, involved in. For example, a very large project in uh, New Jersey. Uh, by Journal Square, which is across from the World Trade Center. And we have been actively rezoning the site over the last uh, three to four years. And we will be building out approximately six to 700,000 square feet. But we have decided at this point, because of the environment in the States and because of the way they finance projects in the States, that we're, we're right presently now. It's sitting ready to go, but we're not going to pull the trigger yet. And it's different than if we were in Canada. And was that decision over the, made over the past five days, or it was kind of... No, this has been something that's <laughs> been percolating for the last, uh, I'm going to say, the last six to nine months. Because, because of rising rates? Because of raise, rising rates. And the way the banking system works in the States is completely a little more... Um, uh, less with strings than more with strings as they do in Canada. So it, it's it's more difficult. It's probably easier to get financing in the States initially. Yeah. But by the time you look at the rates and what they charge, and uh, there's a lot of different banks that offer financing in the States, it's a little more risky. So we're not risk takers in that sense. So we want to make sure that we have the proper financing rates in place, the proper financing. And uh, the banks in the States right now, as you can see from a few of the failures, is there, it's, it's, it's a tough time to be doing big projects in the States. I believe. So that's interesting. This would would this have been your first kind of at attempt at, at global expansion or, or no? No, we've done other. You've we've done yeah, others. No, we're, we're, so it's we, just the environment is not right. It's just right that now. right now it's not the the right time to be launching projects uh, unless you have really in the U.S. And, no, sorry, not in Canada. Yeah, in yeah. the U.S. because you need to have really proper financing in place to make sure that everything is in check. And are you launching new projects in Canada? Yeah, we are. We're very active. In fact, uh, about an hour ago, we, we closed a transaction downtown in the hundreds of millions of dollars with uh, two very, very large uh, A banks. So business is uh, as usual, and we're very bullish about the market. Now, that's, what, was it a residential? It was a residential. Uh, Talk to me about the commercial. I know it's a smaller part, but um, if People say if, if there's going to be concerns cropping up, that's where it's going to crop up first in terms of the impact of rising rates or recessionary impact. Are you feeling that in your portfolio? I don't listen. Recession is always a scary word, but it's really uh, two negative uh, quarters of GDP. And I'm not an econo economic yeah. guy, but uh, that's what I think it, it means. And uh, I think we've already probably passed that. I think we've already been through the recession if we were ever to have one. But I think that industrial real estate's been very, very good. I mean, the one component that I keep mentioning is the office component. And it, it's, it's a little bit in a rough patch. Uh, the buildings are sitting like, would downtown. would you build an office development today? Well, it's interesting. We just, uh, we, in most of our con condominium projects, we end up cre having to build office components in it. Oh. And we just sold something like... Uh, 30,000, 40,000 square feet of, of office condos at, uh, in downtown core, and we did very, very well. So it's not like we're buying a building and we're selling something that's 200,000 square feet and you're selling a, an asset like that. So we basically chunk it up and we divide it up, and then that's how we go out and sell. We have other holdings downtown. There's no question that we have great tenants like Bank of Montreal that are our tenants for another four or five years. And, downtown financial yeah. core buildings. But, uh, you know, once they leave, it will be an interesting concept of what we do with that building if the market is where it is. So have you given any thought on how you're 
how you repurpose some of that? Uh, we're probably going to go look to see if we can get some residential rezoning yeah. on that site or two. Right. So that's what we have to do. But you, you don't know. And, really... and how's that going on the regulatory uh, front? That is the persistent um, kind of stubborn area of the market is getting access to supply and, and builders like yourselves lament about the regulatory process to do so is, is slow and cumbersome. Well, we have a full team at Lanterra, <laughs> but, it, but there's no question that it's always been a challenge. To, is it getting I'm, better? I'm going to say a challenge. It's just there's a lot of bureaucratic uh, uh, hoops you have to go through. But at the end of the day, the, day, the result is, is positive. But I think that uh, overall, like, you can see now that uh, Premier Ford and the new mayor that will be in check in the next few months, their, their objective is to deal with how to deal with supply because the supply is an issue. And you can see now that in, in uh, certain quadrants in the city that they're not as concerned about height and they're not as concerned about setbacks, which will give us the ability to do more uh, zoning on the site and provide more uh, condominiums and retail and whatever else that's required in, in certain locations. A lot of um, young people are, are starting their families um, <clears throat> in condos, right? And, and maybe their parents, they started their families in the suburbs, they had a home, um, a plot of land. Do you think that's a, a, a kind of permanent generational shift? I mean, how elusive is the goal of home ownership well, for, for young families? That's a how great do you think question. But, uh, As a, let, I know you're a condo builder. No, so <laughs> let me tell you from my own experiences. Yeah. I, I grew up at Bathurst and Harvard in a house that, that literally housed like nine of us, and it wasn't more than 1,500 square feet. So we've, we haven't changed the, the way we, we, we live, in the, except for the fact that now, yeah. in our condo business, we're now going a lot higher vertically. Yeah, okay. horizontal. So I just think that the overall, I think that the, our condominium business has been the business to really be attracted to because people can afford yeah. housing in that component.